has caught my eye out the window. And so I wanted to share it with you guys. Can you see the little chipmunk in the middle? The sun is glaring, so I can't, I can't see anything. But I'm gonna try and move in. Do you see me sitting on the, he's sitting on the tree. And he's just chilling out. He looks so peaceful. He looks so happy. I feel a lot of masculine energy. Although I don't know, he's kind of big. It could be a she, maybe she's pregnant, I don't know. Um, let me see if I can get closer. Let's see if I can get closer. Can you guys see it? See, the thing is, I can't see. Sometimes I do these videos for you guys and I'm like, I literally like look back and I'm like, oh, it was right there, I was on the wrong spot. But if I'm thinking right, he should be right there. They should be right there. I just thought that was the sweetest thing. They're just sitting there chilling out. I was like, hi, sweetie. Oh, it makes me happy when I see nature so peaceful, you know, because that's how it should be. That kind of peaceful energy. Oh, there it is. Can you guys see it? I'm trying to go by like, like I see the shadow of the sun, you know, on the branch. So I'm trying to, it's, they're underneath, they're in front of the shadow to the left in the middle. And it's cute too, because the way they're sheltered, I feel like they're sleeping and like no predators can get them. You know what I mean? Like no birds can see them, I'm gonna go this way, you know. Um, or they can, but you know, they can scurry away quickly, but that's like a fallen tree. So there's, it's like kind of a far way down. They're very smart. It's like they found a place where they, you know, they're kind of predator, predator free zone. I'm just going through some heavy stuff right now. I just lost a beloved family member, cherished family member, and I'm just like, feeling kind of heavy today. Um, lots of memories, lots of stuff coming up. And I felt like this chipmunk was just trying to get us to like, you know, oh, sorry. I'm not, <laughs> I feel like the chipmunk, chipmunk is just trying to get us to like slow down and relax and take a minute. Just maybe you need to go somewhere in nature and just be for a little while. The cutest thing is you can see that they're sleeping. I don't think I can zoom in anymore, but I'm gonna try. Oh wait, oh wait, maybe I can. Do you see? Like, they're so cute, they're sleeping. Oh my goodness, it's the cutest little thing. Hi, are you having a nap? A nap time? Were you busy last night? Oh. <sighs> Just makes me happy looking at it. It's also interesting because it's the first animal I've seen since my aunt passed. So I feel like I need to look up chipmunk spirit animal. Because I feel like this is her. Like I feel like this is like her saying like she's finally at rest. Like she's finally at peace. She doesn't have to scurry around anymore. Or you know try and make her life something. She can just be at peace. What in your life do you need to be at peace with? Is there something or someone you need to make peace with? You know, you don't have to talk to someone to make peace with them. You can just talk to them, their higher self. You say, I call upon so-and-so's higher self to sit with me in meditation and let them know that I love them and I forgive them. Or maybe you want to ask for forgiveness and say, Thank you for forgiving me. Also, I don't want to move the camera, but this massive bumblebee just like flew by. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but it's totally pollinating right now. And so that's really cute too. It's interesting because now I'm looking at the bumblebee thinking, that looks more like her. <laughs> Actually, this cute bumblebee looks more like her. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on this chipmunk, make sure they're not just hurt or something. Oh, look at the butterfly. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I'm really going to get emotional because when my grandmother passed, 
monarch butterflies kept coming to me. I kept asking my grandma for signs, and so monarch butterflies kept coming to me. And even though my family and I have, like, different views and outlooks on religion, spirit, God, what have you, the one thing that we had in common, oh, hello, butterfly. Hi, hi Aunt Kim. Oh, my gosh. Was my Aunt Kim said that every time she saw butterflies, she felt like that was grandma coming to talk to her, her mom, you know. And so that was kind of interesting. So just in this little time while I was talking to you guys, while we were focusing on the chipmunk, a bumblebee and a butterfly came. So if you want to work with those spirit animals. Wow, I'm I'm heavy today. It's interesting because it's like with every fiber of my being as a medium and a light worker, like I know she's okay. But man, there is just something that happens when someone passes, especially someone who's so... Oh, I'm going to try not to cry, but like I was thinking um, this song out of out of the blue um, from John Lennon came on and, you know, he's like out of the blue, you came into my life and, you know, you did all these things, blah, blah, blah. And and my aunt Kim was showing me visuals of me like as a baby and like just how excited she was. And I guess I just never really realized how much she really was close to me. And I didn't realize how depressed she was and. I think there was a lot of underlying things that were happening to her as a child that I don't think she really talked about or spoke about. And then she got pregnant when she was 16 with like her first love guy. And, uh, and then he like left her to raise the baby on her own. And she, you know, she did a really good job. You know, it took a village, you know, my grandparents helped, you know, she stayed there until she was old enough to get her own place and a job. And, you know, we all helped raise him, my cousin, but Hi, butterfly. Hi, Aunt Kim. Oh my gosh, look at it. I mean, that butterfly can fly in any path, but it's like flying here. And it's like the prettiest light lavender color. And my Aunt Kim loved the color purple. Anyway, but I just was thinking about all of these things. I was just thinking about like everything that she went through. And then she was showing me that like I was like this little light in her life, like this little beacon. And that's why she liked to babysit and hang out with us because I like just made her laugh and made her smile and we were just really close and and then I I got this vision this visual it was so real um you know Nicolas Cage recently was saying that he has memories of I'm laughing because I just love Nicolas Cage I think he's awesome but he has memories of being in the womb and my husband has that too my husband like he has memories from being a baby and being changed I'm like come on he's like no I remember that stuff I'm like that's interesting and then all of a sudden my Aunt Kim was giving me all these memories and she, and it was like, I was looking up at her like as a baby and she was like cooing over me, you know, she was just like, hi, like she was being like really cute and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh. And she was just trying to tell me like I was more precious to her than I realized because even she didn't realize it until she was older, you know, like how she had a lot of dark, depressing thoughts as a kid. And, you know, all the, almost all the women in my family, it feels like all the women in my family, but I don't want to speak for anybody, but I would say most of my family were like witches and healers and deep, deep down believers and, um, of magic. And I think that, you know, when magic was taken out of our lives, like I feel like a lot of my family members, even in childhood felt a loneliness or felt like something was missing or something was wrong. Um, and I did too, but I was the one that was vocal about it. So it's just, yeah, just a lot of interesting things. And I'm feeling like that from my aunt right now. Like I'm feeling like she's absolutely here and she's talking to me through nature. And even though she gave me shit for, you know, being what I am as a medium and all that, and that was very blasphemous, you know, to her belief system, my family, that side of the family, Southern Baptist. And, um, it was like I had this moment today where we started talking and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, Aunt Kim, I'm like, you're on the other side. I'm like, now you know, I'm like, I'm not crazy. I'm not full of shit, right? You know, um, but it's just interesting. There's just a lot of cool things, but I think I'm going to learn even more and, and I feel like my gifts are just going to grow even deeper through this experience and my connection with her because we were so bonded in life. And then, you know, the last time we saw each other, it wasn't the best but it wasn't you know the worst either but it wasn't the best it wasn't like us like the old us the way we used to be with each other um but yeah I don't know if anyone will ever see this sometimes I think I create these videos just for me because I don't know how many videos I have that never even get posted but it's good therapy 
And it's interesting because I wanted to go shopping with my husband today, but I was, you know, he was like, no, I really want to go by myself. I'm like, what? Like, he doesn't normally like to do that. But I think he knows. I was up late crying. And he came in at 1030 and he was like, hey, I'm going to go. I'm going to go shopping. And I was like, he goes, unless you want to go. And But I could tell he was like, you know, just stay in bed. He's like, you know, you just found out your aunt died. Like, you're a close family member. He's like, don't worry about it. So, yeah, I think death is a funny thing. You know, it, and especially at 51, I'm 51 and my aunt was 61, um, you know, and more butterflies. <laughs> you know, I think, and fairies, thank you fairies and bees. It's like we can't help but look at our own mortality. And I think at any age we do that when someone dies. It starts to, we start to panic, like what's going to happen? Blah, blah. But it's very real, you know. So if there's something that's been heavy on your heart that you want to do, but you've been afraid to because of what people... Oh, look, it's moving. It's moving. Um, I'm hearing from Spirit, like, get out there. Do it. Oh, look at it. Give us a little scratchy itch. Did you see that? Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I can see him. I'm trying to get in there. Can you see him? Hi. Hi, sweetie pie. Oh, yeah. Just having a little scratch and itch. Um... You know, I, I feel like this is a message from spirit. Like, don't wait. Don't wait. Like, do it, do it, do it, do it. One of the last um, conversations I had with my aunt was she was thinking about having gastric bypass surgery because she was tired of dieting and she was tired of living in her body. And she's like, I just don't feel like this was ever my body. And I'm like, no, I get that. Like, I really get that. And I've been all different sizes, so I do understand what she means by that. Um, so... And I was very happy for her. I was like, she's free. She's free, you know. But I'm also sad because I feel like she spent an entire lifetime just taking care of other people. So now I pray for her. My wish for her. Bye-bye, Chipmunk. Thank you for the footage. Um, I feel like my next, you know, my, my prayer for her is that in her next life, she will find physical, mental, emotional, financial freedom. May she find peace in love, wonderment, happiness, joy. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Was that a hummingbird? Um, may it be her best life yet. Because this one she gave and gave and gave. And her body gave out at 61. She couldn't do it anymore. And now she doesn't have to. Now she can, she can live. She can be. She can, you know, do whatever she wants. She can just be. She can just be. And for all the rest of us that are still here, don't wait. Don't wait another minute, another second. Do what you love and do what makes you happy. This isn't a prison unless you make it one. <sighs> Until next time, take really good care of yourselves and each other. I love you. Cherish every moment with yourself and each other. Blessed be. Oh. <laughs>